Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be taking you through my recent shopping experience. There's a lot of new trends in the stores at the moment, some really interesting stuff. Um, a lot of the shops are already getting ready for summer even though it is freezing outside. Um, but I wanted to take you through some of that, also my experience in the changing room and kind of trying a couple of different things on. Some worked, some really didn't so I'm going to share that with you and then a couple of other things that I bought yesterday as well so I'm going to hop right into it and bring you through these different trends in the shops right now. So obviously it is February Valentine's Day it's really really close and this is definitely a trend that I saw in the stores especially when it comes to jewellery. I saw and other stories had a couple of things in, Mango had a couple of things in, cute ways to give a little nod to Valentine's Day without going Full red dress, red lips, the whole thing. And um, so that was really nice to see. And there was definitely some pops of colour, lots of pinks, and other stories are really liking pink and orange at the moment. And um, some stuff in Zara as well. Just really cute bits that you can wear, even if you're not a huge fan of Valentine's Day like myself. Um, it's still nice to give a nod to it and also to brighten up your wardrobe with a couple of different pops of colour. Pink and red are definitely great ones to be wearing, ones that I need to wear a little bit more myself because they're really great colours. And really sweet jewellery as well. If you're not, you know, looking to get someone something very flashy, there's some really cute pieces, especially in another story. So there's a really sweet necklace that I like and um, with a teeny teeny tiny heart on it that I thought was really pretty and simple and something that you could wear absolutely every single day so that was a really nice little thing to have and um, but I'm generally not into like gaudy Valentine's Day stuff but despite the fact that it is only February I could not get over how much swimwear there is in the stores at the moment literally couldn't get over it it was everywhere everywhere especially in pennies, Primark, depending on where you're from, and H&M, they had a lot of stuff. Pennies especially, they had a whole middle section of their big store dedicated to swimwear. And the annoying thing is, when it gets to be later in the year and it's actually warm, because it's freezing outside, when it's actually warm later in the year, it's impossible to find a nice bikini or swimsuit. It's always sold out, especially H&M, I'm looking at you. And for some reason, they're bringing it out in February. So if you know that you're going away in the next couple of months, just go and buy your swimwear now. Just honestly, just, just go and buy it now, because it will not be there when it's May, June, July, August, it just won't. And it's one of the most frustrating things ever, but just just a heads up, a public service announcement, if you will. Swimwear is in stores now. It's ridiculous, it's February, it's cold outside, but here we are, swimwear. Start thinking about it, it's important. One trend I was really enjoying, and I saw especially in Zara and in another stories, bright colored suits. They're so good. Um, especially, yeah, especially those two. The one in Zara is like a full yellow situation and it is glorious. It is like one of the best things I've ever seen. And then Another Stories had one in like a really amazing orange colour, which I just, I want them both. I don't know where I'd wear them. I don't know when I'd wear them. Um, and I don't know why I'd wear them, but I want them. I want them both. They both look amazing. And that's definitely a trend I like seeing. I am a fan of a, a bright colored suit. I actually have two pink suits, full pink suits, and a really nice like navy suit. Um, but I love a really bright suit. So yeah, I feel like I need one of them. Needs a strong word. I need, I want one of them at least. But they look so good, so cool. A really different idea as well if you have like a wedding or something coming up. Rather than going out and buying a dress, you can get a suit. And that way you can wear it together or you can wear them as separates as well. So you can wear the blazer with like a regular outfit or pants with like a silky shirt to put, uh, you know, dress it up or whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, it's just a good alternative if you have an event or a wedding or something like that. Think of a bright suit. Zara and other stories. Those are the two right now to beat, for sure. Another trend, and to be fair, this trend has probably been going for a while, but I'm definitely seeing more affordable options out there at the moment, um, is the bias cut kind of silky satiny skirts. Um, Topshop are doing really good ones. They're like 40 euro. Um, the bias cut, they have them in loads of different colors. They have them in different lengths. Um, I got a leopardy print one in 
pennies actually back in December, which is fab. So there is a lot of them. I have to say for me, they're not flattering. I like you can see in this clip here. I understand the bias cut and the reason for it is, you know, it'll it'll create shapes and curves and stuff, but I feel like it looks makes me look really blocky around the middle and then just shoots in at the legs. And it's just not the most flattering thing in the world. And then the the lighter colored, the kind of soft grey one, it, I feel like it showed up every leg dimple, bit of cellulite, everything. It was just all on show because that fabric was such a light colour and yes, okay, the changing room lights make everything a little harsher and that was probably affecting it but it still made me feel kind of crappy wearing it. So when you're going for a bias cut just know or one of those silky skirts just know that the Topshop ones are really bias cut and they're going to really create that shape that curved shape and um, there are other ones you can get which won't be cut along the bias as much they'll still give you some curves and um, but maybe not as extreme as the Topshop one and um, I think if I was a little taller the Topshop one might have been better but it just it wasn't right for me even though I love the colors like that gorgeous like deep navy and the soft grey I could see myself wearing them a million times over but yeah they just no they did not look good on me one thing I noticed in a lot of the stores as well especially um H&M and and other stories again was that kind of utility boiler suit jumpsuit kind of vibe going on there was a lot of you know the exposed pockets um that really utilitarian vibe going on not so much in like greens or khakis or like the normal colors you would expect like H&M had a really nice kind of dove gray blue color and um, I know these stories were leaning more into like the warmer colors like really rich kind of rusty colors or deep reds and um, so I think that's kind of a nice spin on the whole thing and um, I didn't try any of them on because jumpsuits for me are touch and go because while they might fit on my body they'll be too long my legs or whatever it may be so I didn't try any of those on but it is definitely a trend that I was noticing um quite a lot in the stores especially as I say H&M and another stories and another trend I noticed that's kind of in line with that is cargo pants and not only in stores but I actually saw a lot of people wearing cargo pants yesterday which kind of came out of nowhere but okay um the ones I saw and I filmed are like a beige um version from pennies actually that had kind of like one of those black belts um so there's definitely something to look out for like if you do like that kind of more military utilitarian vibe there's going to be lots of that coming down and um, this season I feel it was definitely evident in like a lot of the clothing and stores and even if it wasn't necessarily full utilitarian it would still have that kind of pocket on like a shirt or something and um, that will kind of give a nod to that trend so there's lots of that coming down the track at the moment another one that I really like another trend that I really like is funnel necked jumpers and so unlike um so, so this is just a regular polo neck the way a funnel neck is cut is instead of there being a seam here the fabric from this part the main part of the body continues upwards to create a funnel neck so instead of the neck being a separate part of fabric um or kind of a differentiated part of fabric it just continues up out of the the main body of the jumper and um, i really really like this trend i think it's actually very flattering the jumpers that i've seen tend to err more on the side of being quite boxy and um, which kind of leans into like i saw a lot of them in another stories which leans into their aesthetic which is more boxy and um um a little more masculine and um, but they're really really nice just unusual jumper if you don't like a full you know polo neck funnel necks don't tend to come as high so they're a good option if you want something that's like a polo neck but not fully um, and just the cut of them is really cool I really like that kind of boxy look to them one more trend that I saw in H&M which is very specific to dog owners is these little teeny tiny doggy jackets which I have never seen in like a 
person store before. I don't know if I've just missed it because I don't own a dog, um, even though I want one. Um, but yeah, lots of little dog jackets, specifically for little dogs. And a lot of their hangers had like pug faces on them. So I don't know if like that's a thing that a lot of pug doggy owners do. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for doggy jackets, they're in they're in H and M apparently. I tried on a lot of different things in uh, the shops. So Zara, that blue spotted dress, I really really wanted. I like I had it in my online basket for ages. Really wanted to get it, but it just was way too low cut. I was planning on it being like a good dress to have for like a day two of a wedding or work events but it was just like plunging um, which wasn't really the vibe I was going for and I also think the sizing of it was a bit weird. I don't know um, but yeah it wasn't great. Now there is a skirt version which I did see in the shop but at that stage I was kind of over trying stuff on so I didn't get it but it is it is there so maybe give it a try and um, that grey polka dot dress as well yeah no that just that just made me look pregnant which was very sad <laughs> which was just kind of like a cream and neon yellow color block jumper but I'm trying to be a more conscious shopper and not just buy stuff and I didn't buy it and the reason being is because I have a jumper that is incredibly similar now this is looking a little worn and um, because I love it and I wear it to death but I have this jumper and it is essentially very similar so while well, the color blocking is you know horizontal on this one and the zara one was color blocking to the side they're too similar for me to justify just going out and buying another white and neon color block jumper they're just too similar so i definitely found and i don't know if this is a combination of several things or one thing or what it is but i mean Firstly, I didn't buy any clothing for the month of January. I decided I was just gonna really try and just not buy any clothing or anything. It, like I, I didn't even buy tights, you know? I was just trying to hold off and just really think about the things that I needed, partly because I wanted to be avoiding the sales because I tend to get overexcited in sales and buy a load of stuff that I don't need. And also because I'm trying to just be a more conscious shopper. And then the other thing is, and you may have seen it in a, one of my previous videos, that I'm trying to be a lot more environmentally friendly. I'm trying to buy things that I know A, I'll get the wear out of, and B, not just buying things for the sake of it, being more conscious about what is already in my wardrobe, just to reduce my own fashion footprint and really just be more conscious. So I definitely feel that walking around the shops with that in mind stopped me from buying an awful lot of unnecessary stuff. Um, there was definitely other things that I picked up and I was like, oh, it's nice. And before I probably would have just bought it and brought it home and like, you know, tried it on a few times or whatever and brought it back. But this kind of, I don't know, it just, I felt I've, it, I stopped myself quite a lot because I was like, oh no, I have something similar. You know, this is a, a case in point or, you know, I didn't really need it or I knew I didn't have anything that would go with it. Um, so yeah, it was definitely interesting to kind of go shopping for the first time and be a lot more conscious and a lot more aware of what I was doing. But with that in mind, I did buy a couple of things and I just wanted to take you through them and my, my reasoning, I suppose, for buying them as well. Um, so the first thing I bought is this, which if you know me and you know how I dress, this is very out of character in terms of like the color and tone and everything. I love the polo neck. Um, you know, I love this button detailing on the sleeves. This is from Zara and it was 1995. But this color is not a color I wear. I I very much go towards, you know, black, gray, white, blues, greens, never really warmer colors, which is funny because my makeup, I always do in warm tones, lots of browns, lots of golds, lots of warm tones. Um, and originally I had seen this in like a dark grey and I was like okay cool I'll get that and then my brain started thinking and I was like you have 
two dark gray pillows at home you don't need one so i stopped myself and then i saw this color and i was like this is quite nice actually it's not a color i would ever ever wear but i'm trying to step outside my comfort zone a little bit more as well and it feels lovely it's comfortable i think it's a nice color and yeah so i just decided to step away from the gray try a little more of a warm tone next thing i bought also zara back to my usual color it is this faux suede t-shirt shirt dress which is not going to show up well on camera at all because of the lighting but just trust me on this one so yeah it feels really nice i thought it was kind of a nice option because it's definitely something you can dress down or dress up so i think this would be really cute with just like regular lace up kind of combat boots and tights in the day for just like something very casual but equally it would look really nice with like a pair of heels and maybe some more like fancy jewelry or something and um, i really like and this is always pet peeve for me i really like how the top sits open um on the shirt i hate when shirts stay kind of closed even though you've opened the button this sits really really nicely when it's on and yeah i just thought it was a lovely simple dress it's quite mini like it's not it's not super short it's not inappropriate for work short um but yeah i just thought that was something kind of cute that i could wear and dress down or dress up and because it's such a simple dress i definitely think i will get the wear out of it for sure for sure next thing i bought i actually saw when i was in the first pennies i went into and they didn't have my size and then i went into another pennies and they did have my size and there was literally a mob trying to get out this dress and um i thought it was really cute and i could see myself wearing it and how it would look and now that i've got it home and i've tried it on I don't like it and I'm really bad at going into the changing rooms and pennies they are like my least favorite place to go so generally I will buy stuff from pennies and bring it home and bring it back but yeah this dress is it's not cute not cute on anyway maybe a different person could wear it and make it look nice but it, it kind of reminds me of like the type of thing I used to wear when I was in college and I just feel that my style has changed so much and I don't know maybe it was just like a weak moment and me flashing back to college I don't know but it just when I tried it on today I was like no what was I thinking but you know my shopping fails are your entertainment it is this kind of polka dot dress it's it's kind of I'd say it's at the knee it has these little ties around the waist it looks polka dotty but it's actually hearts so a kind of more subtle um valentine's day outfit potentially it has kind of this cute little ruffly collar and then kind of ruffly sleeves as well and um, it's like a greeny color and then the the hearts are like a light beige sand color i guess yeah in theory super cute but on me it just looked crap to be perfectly honest I didn't like it at all um so yeah that's kind of a shopping fail i mentioned earlier that mango had lots of cute like valentine's day jewelry and why i didn't while i didn't get valentine's day jewelry i always like going in there for um earrings tara Mar, if you don't follow her she's amazing on youtube and on instagram she always gets her hoops like chunkier hoops there um, and they didn't have any of those there but they had these which I thought were really different and kind of nicer like something a little more formal so I will have some work things coming up in the next couple of months and I just thought these were nice so they're not a hoop they're more of a circle I'll try them on there and show you these were only 9 99 as well so like mango jewelry is really really reasonable I like them maybe I'll wear them today too much too much for work 9.99 where would you be going really cute really easy to wear nice and a bit different to a hoop as well so that's 
that's good that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you can leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any other trends that you've noticed in the stores i would love to hear about it and yeah that's all for me i will see you guys in the next video